The Reds team is a lot bigger than the players on the field. It's just that most of them don't get the same level of attention. Well, what if they did? Here's that legendary front line taking tickets. They call him the gatekeeper. That they do. Look at the strength on the right side of that line. A lot of it's in that stance. Nothing is getting past this crew. And they're looking for an all-star at every position. Round number, you got about 1,600 people work a game day. I employ about 160 of them full time. So it shows you how many of those workers are seasonal. We spoke exclusively with Reds president and CEO Phil Castellini about the jobs needed. We still need uh, every game day responsibility that there is. We still have holes to fill in terms of the, the, the uh, people we need to work a ballpark at the higher capacities. The Reds are listing jobs like suite ambassador, security, usher, access coordinator. Most of the jobs pay between 10 to a little over $12 an hour. And the Reds aren't alone looking for workers. So is FC Cincinnati, Kings Island, and lots of restaurants in town, among others. I asked Mayor John Cranley about the role extended unemployment is playing in the worker shortage. So these folks that own businesses one, right? that we've talked that to said just the people are used to uh, getting money and not working, and uh, it's easy. Well, look, I'd rather pay people to work, you know, and that's what we need. We need people to get back into the economy and, and doing the jobs. As the Reds hope to expand the roster, looking for the next all-star of stadium workers. Let's see what way he goes with that thumb. It's over the shoulder, over the shoulder. Oh, that's a veteran move. A lot of rookies throw that thumb all the way out around. You can poke your eye out that way. So, look, don't wait for the Red Scout team to come and find you. Just apply. We'll have the link to do it on our website. Brian Hamrick, WLWT, News 5.